Okay guys, I know that this is gonna not uh, be the best audio, but I could not pass up a chance to show you a a weaved weld two inches wide. That's right, two inches wide. This is a, a an engineering tape measure, so you'll have to forgive the inches and decimal feet, but when's the last time you uh, saw that? And what's interesting is that this weld also has stamped stations. That's how old this vessel is. The x-ray stations are stamped. I mean, that's just not something you see anymore. The long seam is stamped with the stations. And the gir seams are unbelievably woven. Here's the top head, the uh, other head. I don't know if you can see that or not. Inch and a half wide on this one. And same thing. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Right there, there's 342. That's the, that's the station stamp for the station marks. And there's another one for the Gersey. Or the, excuse me, the long seam. The long seam. And they're all like this. All of them. So, by the look of it, the uh, the gir seams were welded by hand, inch and a half wide on the head to shell. The shell to shell is two inches wide, and they stamped stamped the stations. So it looks like to me. I'm gonna surmise that the. Uh, the long seams were x-rayed 100% the the gir seam had a spot well, or spot shot, which was really common back in the day. Anyway, I thought you guys would think that that's really interesting, or at least I thought so. Thanks for coming along. Bye.